All right, next we have encoding and decoding instructions. Functions, in fact, which is bit to byte and byte to bit. Okay, so let's see what it does. This says bit to byte. So this is the bit instructions, bit input and byte outputs. So in bit inputs, let's take a few bits here. Let's say this is the first one going to address zero, pin number zero, this is the first, and that's going to two, it's going to three. This would actually convert this bit into byte. Okay. Four. Let's and let me tell you how. Another very inter interesting instruction. This is five. And one more and one more. Six. And another one. This is the seventh one. Okay. Now you have eight bits. Zero to seven, these are the eight bits. Byte is of your 8 bits. Byte consists of 8 bits. So I'll take a byte here. Okay. Now what will happen if I turn on, if you know binary to decimal conversion, if this is on, this is what? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is 1. So this is the value in decimal. Okay. If I turn on this one, this will be 2 because it's 1, 0. If I turn on this one again, it will be 3. This will make it 7 and so on 15 31 63 127 255 so that's how this is being converted into byte here if I turn this off it's 254 253 252 so that's how you convert your <coughs> yes your binary value here into a byte value no decimal value here this is a bit to byte and this is the opposite byte to bit which will convert this binary, this byte information in byte, which is a decimal, into bits. So if I just connect this one here, you can see that all the outputs are on. Okay. If you want to see that, you can connect bits here. This will be on. This will be on again. I have to change the address. This should be one. Otherwise, I'll just hold on. Just turn this off once. Then I'll connect the bits. This is the bit 2 Oops. and then more bits so this way you can connect your bits to the output of byte to bit card over here you have 8 bytes 8 bits okay now when I turn on this one, this is 1. So in this case as well, your first bit is on. Because 1 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 up to end is 1. So that's why this is on. Let me just displace it a little bit. So whatever I'm doing here is being converted into byte, then further byte into bit. Okay. If I turn this on, this is converted into 3. 3 is 1, 1. That's why it's 1, 1. Rest is 0. That's why 2 inputs are, 2 bits are high. Then if I do this one, it's 7. So similarly, this will be reflected here. If I do them all, oops, if I do them all, all the outputs are, all the bits are high. This is how you do bit to byte and then byte to bit. Pretty easy, huh? It's quite easy, quite uh, easily to understand as well. It's the byte information. That's how you can use bit to byte and byte to bit. And this is called encoding. So you are encoding this value into the decimal. This is decoding the value into bits. You can say that. In a way, you can say that. All right. Thank you.